Welcome to the new year. Uh, welcome to the new videos. Uh, this is going to be our first attempt at trying two separate weekly update videos. This one is the freshwater video, which should be posting first. And we are going to go through basically the freshwater and I'm going to try to show you a little bit more than typically I do in most of the videos. A couple quick things I'd like to get out of the way. We do have a contest for this month. And I know you guys may or may not be tired of getting free bio cubes, but we're going to do it one more month and it's based on exactly what we've done the last two months, which is bring in a can of food and get registered to win a free BioCube. This time we're doing it for the Ronald McDonald House. We have had a tank that we service in the Ronald McDonald House downtown at Richland uh, Hospital, and we want to help them out too, as they've actually expressed an interest in getting food and stuff from us for the parents of children who need uh, that very thing when they're here getting services from the hospital. So we want to help them and we've got an empty 210 gallon tank to do it. So we'd like to try to fill it for the third and final time right now. We'll promise we'll have something different going next month, but let's get on to fresh water and uh, see what's new. In keeping with keeping Sir Richard happy, I am going to show you some of the cool up close things that I can't show you in the normal weekly update because this is geared for freshwater. Uh, some of the driftwood that he got and put out is absolutely phenomenal. Each piece is a piece of artwork. I mean, it really is. You know, in a tank that's about the size of that, nothing but dark gravel or natural gravel in front of it where it backs just up to this and plant it all around, absolutely phenomenal. I've got wood for you, Chuck. <laughs> Here is a killer, killer piece. I mean, look at that. You can, you can see straight through it. That is a killer piece. This is a killer piece. If you're in the market to have something really sharp and cool as a centerpiece, something to really design a natural aquaria or a show aquaria, which all of you guys out there have the ability to do, we have got an exceptional, exceptional selection of, of driftwood and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna pick up right here and I'm gonna to try to show you more freshwater fish than typically I do. So, I'm not gonna waste any time. Well, let's look at the freshwater fish. Starting with the goldfish, we got in medium telescopes this week. Extra large arandas you can see came in along with large lion heads. Moving right down here, we got little lion heads in a lot of varying colors. These XL lion heads, uh, one even looks like it's got maybe some pearl scale to the body. Really, really cool. A large telescope fan tail that just came in and just kind of resting. Uh, down here we have medium lion heads that came in and lots of color variants. Large lion heads again. And some more lion heads over here. Pom pom fan tails came in this week along with assorted rayumas. Uh, also, we got in the classic fan tails in every color you can think of. Beautiful red cap arandas. Assorted telescopes, bronze fantails. The bronze are really nice this week. And some assorted arandas at a small size. Okay, so large black neons came in this week. I mean, really large. You can also see the pandagaras right here. Uh, we got in more of those this week. A phenomenal algae eater that's got a, those cool markings. Uh, really cool personality. A large galaxy pleco, L number 029, came in this week. This has more of the vampire-like body with the more pointed snout on the front of the fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. A gorgeous pleco is the L128, the blue phantom. This guy, man, what a stud. If you actually look at the caudal and the pectoral fin as it gets in just the right light, it has a blue sheen to it. Beautiful, beautiful pleco. Uh, we've got a perfect size. These are healthy. We've got two of them this week. Oh, no, looks like we got three of them this week. So these just came in, but a beautiful, beautiful pleco. Can't say I've seen these guys before. Blue rabbit snails. I don't know very much about them, but as they're in a communal tank, they must be perfectly safe for community fish. Uh, these just came in this week. They have a beautiful, beautiful kind of black to amber to white cone-shaped snail. Just, I mean, they're just really cool. Um, Dojo loaches came in this week. We always get asked about them and these get put on our list. Great little bottom feeding loaches. Uh, a lot of personality. Pretty cool as you can see. Panda Cory is one of our most popular uh, Cory cat. These are small right now, which is the, the type and size that I love to buy them. Uh, great bottom feeding Cory cat. 
Turquoise rainbows came in this week. I love showing these. These are also in with uh, flagtail porthole catfish and some millennium rainbows, but if you notice, the turquoise on the turquoise rainbows is already coming in. These get blue, I mean a real blue. So when you put them in a live planted tank or you school them together and they get relaxed and they get comfortable in their environment, man, they are a studly fish. I'm gonna let Ryan announce these. We got puffers! <laughs> Figure eight puffers. These are my favorite type of uh, brackish puffers. You do, obviously, since I said it, you do have to have a half salt, half fresh tank, but these are great if you've got a small 10 or 20 gallon tank and you wanna have some puffers in your living room or bedroom. These are beautiful, beautiful puffers. Even with the figure eight markings, all their markings are a little bit different, giving them each different little personalities. So very, very cool and a lot of personality these guys have. Red neon blue eyed rainbows. I have not seen these before that I am aware of. These are some super, super cool fish. Uh, why? First, and I'm looking at them for the first time, I can't really imagine how gorgeous they would look in a planet tank or a nano tank. Uh, they have really cool finish. If you get really close, and I don't know that you'll see it with the camera, but their, their blue and red markings are pretty intense for a fish this small. Uh, there's some kind of grouping together right here. These, these, are, just, these are just really sharp fish. Uh, they actually make me want to set up a little fish tank. But in any kind of tank where you could school these in mass, uh, I think they would rival any neon, anything like that. Uh, they are a true rainbow fish from Australia. Uh, and uh, so being a river fish, so a little bit of running room they would like uh, lengthwise, but a really nice design planted tank, you could have them in a school and just them alone would make a really cool statement. Nice cardinal touchers this week. Perfect size. I love these guys small because they do tend to do better when they're small. Lots of blue and red. I, I tend to prefer the cardinals over the neons just because you get a little bit more blue and red out of them. Uh, but very, very nice, very, very small this week. But as you can see, they're doing great. Hasbrosis quarries, uh, small, true pygmy quarry. Uh, you can see they will kind of group together. Uh, we've got them in this 20 gallon tank with the Cardinals and with some Rasbora Hets. Beautiful, different type of quarry cat. If you haven't had pygmy quarries before, they are fantastic for smaller aquariums. Uh, I've mentioned these in the past. This is another rainbow species that I love. The Werneri Threadfin Rainbow. Lots of frilly fins on the males with these. Just studs of rainbows. And just like the other rainbows that we talked about, these are a phenomenal fish to have. They're super sharp, pointy uh, front end and back end. Just make them really sleek, almost aeronautic in design. Very, very cool fish. Larger bodied rose line sharks came in this week at a cheaper price than we typically have them. So I wanted to show you. These have no way colored up near where they'll be. They will get a lot more intense red throughout the body as they age. Uh, they'll get about two, maybe two and a half times bigger than this. A great busy fish to have in a tank. They will school together with no problems. Uh, great, great shark if you're in the market for something that can go in a semi-aggressive tank thrummed up right on top of Jonathan while he's trying to clean the tank, but we found the red frontosas we've been looking for. So really, really cool. Uh, I don't know the last time we had red fronts, but if you're in the mood to have a really cool Tanganyikan cichlid and uh, frontosa is your thing, these have red in them. So they're going to develop and grow really, really cool as they age. And we've got them. Blue liar tail killifish just came in. We've got them in this planet tank and you can see this is another this is just another example of how a fish that if it was in a tank with plastic plants or simple decorations, you might never notice the color and the intensity of this fish. But you put it in a planted tank with dark gravel and a dark background and you really start to see the intensity and the colors that come in some of the fish that you would otherwise never notice. And this is a perfect example of that. Uh, so kudos to Kat and them for putting them in a planted tank. Uh, as you look at all freshwater fish, you'll notice things about a lot of them that you might not have uh, just because of the environment. And it's something that you should think about doing an actual live planet aquarium. They're not that hard. We've got videos on the subject and we are here to help you any way we can. Okay, so as promised, I'm adding plants to this week. Uh, Moneywort, 
Bacopa, Parrot's Feather, Hygro, lots of different, uh, like the Cherry Leaf Hygro is in, Amazon Swords, and we have, Kat, we have like two shipments of plants coming this week? Uh, we have one coming in Friday, and then there should be another one coming next Tuesday. Okay, so plants will be filled up within the next seven days, basically. So uh, all of these will be full. We will have the 240s full and lots of plants to show you. So that was our first attempt at trying to shoot two separate videos. So this one with fresh water, I hope that worked for everybody. You got to see a little bit more of what you normally do. Give me some feedback. Let me know uh, what you want to see more. Do you want to see more products in the video? Do you want to see you know, just just let me know because I'm kind of flying blind here trying to shoot two of essentially the same videos in two different departments. So let me know what you want to see. Let me know how you want it to go and I'll do the best job I can while we kind of try this from week to week for the month of January and see if it sticks. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Come see us. There's a lot going on at Fishy Business. This is the time of year. January through about May is when it's just crazy every day. Quality and quantity of fish is never better. We got in a ton of stuff this week. So God bless. Have a great week and I hope to see you back here soon.